Hi, my name is Daniel Graverson, and I've been working with uh, SAP integration for a long period of time. One of the things that I've often seen is errors that keep coming back, like someone is missing to fill in a field in a customer master data, or a vendor that is not putting in the right data, and then you as a PI developer have to figure out what's wrong with this one. Is this the same error as we got before? and then you have to handle it. Normally you would have to go through the message, find the message and see is this the error that we expect. I wanted to do this smarter so I created this uh, simple support tool and here you can just create a rule that say if we have this integrated configuration then on our payload we want to execute this uh, this query so we can check if the amount is above 20 we know that we need to put in this inf in the information otherwise we can say it's unknown error and then we have to handle it uh, ourselves or someone else have to do it figure out what's wrong with it but but we can put uh, easily put style sheet uh, XPath for handling the most complicated cases or most simple cases that we just want the business to handle themselves. So once we have created these and obviously we can build them as we, we learn more about it, we will go to the Viva administrator and here we will schedule a job that just runs every few minutes and that's quite simple. We just go here to find this and then and then we're just using the, the alert API so just as you send an email you can also configure it to use this one and we just want to run this one for the scenario but obviously you would most often just run it all the time every five minutes and you can do this using this alerting tool and then we just wait to it has run. So now the job is done. We can see the log here. And we can see that there's two messages that has been cancelled. And this works just fine. Uh, what we then get is we get an email notification here in our me email program. We see just two new emails. <laughs> And here we have this description. Obviously, we can format it using the XSLT. And we get the error that we have put in here. And we have also some seller information where it's extracting with an XPath uh, content here. So we can get all this kind of information from it. And what I'm just putting in is this. Uh, so the, the original one is is this part and then we have all the error messages just put in and in the accessibility so we can easily select between the messages we have here and the content we have here to make it easier for the people to support it i hope this is something you like if you like just send me an email dgrficaf.com and i would be happy to to work with you with this tool thanks